Because we, we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. So that right there is Gillette's new ad. Some people are applauding it, while others are now threatening a boycott. The Boston-based razor company's take on male behavior, good and bad, getting mixed reviews. Will it sell product? As Jim Smith shows us, that may depend on what happens next. Bullying. The Me Too movement against Toxic sexual harassment. Masculinity. It's a million miles away from shaving ads we grew up with. Examples of sexual harassment and bullying on display, eventually shifting to men behaving positively. It's a very brave and bold thing for them to do. Fran Kelly is one of the biggest names in advertising. He says the key is what happens now. You're making a promise here to fight a social issue, and, and they're going to have to be true to the cause and, and really back their words up with actions. That, that will be the key to really make this an authentic campaign, not just a controversial ad campaign. There is controversy, an online boycott campaign, and one customer tweeting, don't preach to me about how I should act. Goodbye, Gillette. Then one woman responds, don't worry, Gillette, my legs are bigger than his face. Gillette says the passionate dialogue is important and promises to donate $1 million annually to a nonprofit devoted to positive male achievements. There's an old saying that any publicity is good publicity, and there are certainly many, many eyeballs watching this new Gillette video. And there will be no going back. More than 19 million people have seen the ad on social media. A lot of men are going to be watching it, so it's nice that Gillette is targeting men with um, a little bit more of a positive. I think it's a good message, so if they really believe in that, I think it'll work well for them. This will be the most talked about commercial of the year, for sure. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. Jim Smith, WBZ News.